phone versus camera. Surely this giant professional camera is better than this tiny little camera inside this phone, right? Hey yo, this is Matt and today we will be taking pics with my phone. This series is something I've been planning for a while and I divided it up into three different videos. First is going to be this one, which is camera versus phone. And then the second one was going to be tips for taking photos with your phone. And then the third one will be photo editing on your phone. For this video, I will be setting up three different photos and I'm going to take a photo of each with my normal camera, just like I would normally but then i'm going to take a photo with my phone like the exact same photo for each setup i'm going to edit them pretty much exactly the same not really try to match them just try to you know edit a good photo and then i'm going to show both of them for you to decide which one is which it's not so much just to compare the final images but also just to see you know, how the phone can hold up with the camera. Before jumping in, let's look at the tools that we're going to be using. For my camera, I'm going to be using my Canon R6, which has become my main photo taker as well as my main video camera. And then my phone is going to be the iPhone Pro Max. So yes, at the time, it's the newest one. I'm sure there's other phones that still might be better. It's pretty good. I like it, and I think it'll be a, an even better comparison when we look at the final photos. Also, the app that I'm going to be using is the Lightroom app. I'm gonna cover this more in the second video, but it is a free app that you can take pictures on, and you can also edit photos on. The main reason why I'm using this one is that it does give you some more controls than your basic iPhone app. That way I can just tune the settings better and not just to match it to my camera, but just to take better photos overall. And this Lightroom app should also be available in other phones besides iPhones as well. Also for both tools, I will be shooting in raw formats and editing those raw photos. The three different photos that we're gonna be taking are the yearbook photo, the trading card, and the all natural. So let's start the battle. Our first model will be the this Hot Toys Death Watch Mandalorian. I like that it's you know high quality figure. Let's see if we can capture the detail from both the phone and the camera. The first shot we're doing, I'm calling a yearbook photo, and I kind of just came up with that you know for the video, but it makes sense. It's just a classic portrait. He's just going to be kind of standing there with a, a simple pose, a clean backdrop, and that's it. So that's the setup. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll get the photos for each. For this setup, I originally going to use this photo that I did with that I, with the collab, and it was going to I was kind of just going to take the, the photo with the phone afterward. I guess I didn't really like it overall, but I did really like the lighting, and so I'm going to kind of keep the same like the similar lighting setup, and I like that it just looks like studio lighting. So it's an Ulanzi uh, Ulanzi lights have a review for this. I feel like at first I didn't care for it too much, but I'm starting to use it way more if you see in a lot of my BTS for a lot of my recent shots. I do like it, it has different attachments and it's just powerful. And then this one, I remember being excited about it, but it's not as good as I imagined. It's by Slick4 Studio. I'm not sure exactly what the point or purpose of these lights are, but they're, they look cool. Right, that's like the minimum, they look cool. And it's and it's an okay power, it's just not very, like for toy photography, there's not that many uses for it. I think I have it like higher than it's supposed to, so it's more top heavy. Okay, I'm turning on this Ulanzi light. So I'm gonna turn off this back orange video light and then put the backdrop and let's let's take some photos. Remember, it's gonna be one photo with my Canon R6 and then a second photo with my iPhone using the Lightroom app. One of the tips that I will mention in the next video is going to be using, like still using a tripod. Some people don't like using tripods. 
or if you feel like you don't need to, and you don't need to. I just like the consistency that you can get with settings and just the flexibility with set settings. Some sort of tripod or on the table, the clamp here, ready to go. I'm just going to pop it in and it's stabilized. Now that we have both shots, let's check them out. I'm not going to tell you which is which. First, the unedited, just the lighting was adjusted from the raw. And then here are the edited versions. Remember the main focus here was to keep it simple, even for the editing. So could you tell which one was taken with the phone? Photos one and three were the photos taken with my phone. So this one was really close. I'm not sure if it matters if you are viewing on a TV or phone, but one big giveaway is when zooming in. There is way more detail coming from the picture taken with my camera, but from a distance, the full image looks solid from both to me. On to the next setup. This one I'm calling the trading card just because it is focused around, you know, one figure. It's not just a simple portrait. You know, there's a little bit of an action pose to it, some kind of scene around it. I really like the basic like scenes and setups that that trading cards have. Some photo and posing inspiration in your cards. Our second model is going to be Star-Lord. This is the SH Figure Arts one. Pretty good quality, pretty good design. One thing that we're gonna look at here is going to be using my TV as a background, which is, I made a video on it recently. If you wanna go check that out, uh, I have some tips on how to get the best shots out of that. Also, I wanna do some mixed lighting, like throw some colors in there. For the yearbook photo, we saw a very clean, very white light, daylight. And this one, I wanna you know throw in some, some blue or orange just to mix it up and see how the phone holds it all together as well. So let's set this guy up and get those two photos taken. Now that we have the pick for the camera and the phone, which is taken with the phone. These are the unedited versions. And then these are the edited versions. So two and four are taken with my phone. I was a little surprised by the finished results. Besides the TV background, I did want to push this one with the effects and from a distance, I think the phone held up pretty well. So now we're going to move on to our last setup. The main purpose of this is just to be outside using natural light. I'm setting up in my favorite outside spot with the sunset providing some epic backlight. Using this giant rock as a background to hide the neighbors. I'll also bring in a blackboard later. Our model for this will be the SH Figuarts Deadpool. I'm setting up my inverted tripod to get low to the ground. Originally, I imagined blowing dirt and making this way more of an action shot, but I just toned it down for a cool pose on his scooter. The light on the scooter does come on, but the battery is dead and I knew I would just add and make it brighter in Photoshop anyway, along with some haze. For the foam pick, it took a few tries to get the focus right. I had the phone stabilized and it was set at a quick shutter speed, but he kept coming out a tad blurry. 
finally got one that was good enough and was able to work with it. I did push the editing again a bit and I think they both came out pretty good. Can you tell which one is the phone though? Numbers one and four are with the phone. It definitely took a little bit more work to get the right shots with my phone and a little more work when I was editing them as well, but that's just because I'm not used to the phone. And looking at these final images, the results are way better than I thought they would be. And it reinforced that you don't need a fancy camera to take good pics. So if the phone is all you have to take pictures, start now, set up some scenes, experiment with editing, create and inspire.